What a beautiful morning this morning. Hello everybody. Welcome to this indie game development series. With Toby Preacher we are developing the game on my zombie. The game where you are the zombie. And uh, today I'm gonna take care of the inventory system and how to unlock skills with that. You remember if you saw the last episode yesterday I was started working on this and I didn't uh, finished in the morning but um, I was able to do some work in the afternoon and it is pretty much working now. I want to show you the results of that so let's uh, jump right into the game mode and uh, see what we got. So, you can see here I got one skull in my inventory, I get into the skill tree menu. You see there's lots of polishing work to do. Things are overlapping here, but I will take care of that later. So, um, you can see no skill is available here, I need 10 skulls for this. Can't uh, unlock it because I only have one skull in my inventory. Now I go, go ahead and pick up some skulls and stuff. So, and I go back into my inventory, uh, into my skill tree system, and uh, you can see the double jump is available, and uh, on the other side, the health boost. And if I decide to go for the double jump, I select it, and you can see that my skulls, 10 skulls, are removed from my inventory, and um, now the options are locked because I don't have enough skulls to purchase any of them. And uh, I tap out of my menu and you can see we can double jump now. I'm able to pick up all that stuff. So that's amazing. What else I need to do is today I need to um, take care of this bug. You saw um, I was uh, killing this enemy and uh, giving him multiple hits and um, because of that, he was um, spawning multiple uh, pills, which results in a high amount of pills I get in my inventory. So if I go here and hit her one single time, then she's just uh, dropping one pill, um, one pill pile actually, and I can pick it up and it gets uh, added to my inventory. All right. There are the pills, can drop them, pick them up, like everything in my inventory. Can pile it up like that, piles of toilet paper. Well, some people can relate to that, um, me not. So, um, these are the things I want to take care of today. And, um, well, let's do this. Alright, first of all, I want to take care of the um, dropping of the uh, multiple um, pill instances on the enemy death. So I'm gonna get into my, how is it called? I guess it was the enemy AI script. Gonna get into it, but first let me have some coffee. Nothing better than a good coffee in the morning. Well, all right, here we are, and let me see where do I have the spawning of the um, pill item. I got it in here on void enemy die, and let me see. Enemy die is um, called when um, when I'm receiving damage and the uh, current health is equals or below zero well and because of that when he's dead and um, I'm hitting him again he's dropping multiple instances of the pills because it's getting called here so let me see maybe I ch should just um, take this And, um, well, this function, EI enumerated dead, this one is called through the, um, uh, through the animator event, actually. I want to document this real quick. Gets called. <coughs> Gets called. 
getting called through animator events. So I think the solution for this is to take this code because I know this EI enumerated there is only called once and I take uh, this part of code and paste it into here. There we go. And I will test real quick and if this works I can remove this whole part. All right. Let's go into here. Hit play mode. So there we are. Let's smash some enemies. And there is the pull up there. But it takes some time. Yeah. It takes some time because um Because it is um the the event is called after the animation playing where the player fall, uh, where the enemy falls down. The enemy falls down when it dies, and at the end of this animation, um, then the pills are getting dropped. So we pretty much fixed the issue of spawning multiple pills. Or multiple pill instances to be precise. Make there are the pills. She drops the down, me. and then there are the pills. Well, I definitely have to take care of the behavior Stop. of the enemies because you see they are still chasing me, Stop. even if there is a wall or um, if they're already lying on the floor and they should be dead and they're still trying to reach me. Okay. So this is working. So I can remove this function. And I also can remove this function or this part, this section. All right. We cleaned up the code a little bit, which is always good. Um, run to player is up here. And I saw that the enemy was still trying to reach me, even that he has a health below zero. So I'm gonna extend the statement. And I'm gonna say um, what's it called? Current health has to be bigger than zero. So that should fix the issue of um, the enemy still trying to chase me even if he's falling down to death. me fire some bone attacks kill some enemies yeah he's not trying to chase me anymore so that's a good thing there's only one pill instance and now I got 21 pills from the death of three enemies which is uh, pretty good so far all right so the next thing you see if I'm hitting the right mouse button in order to drop something and my hunger bar is filled like that then I am dropping the vomit and the item because there's no detection that I'm in my inventory 
Same thing with the attack, with the virus attack that gets uh, triggered by hitting the left mouse button. And when I'm selecting anything in here, and I got a enemy within my target, I can show you this real quick. I'm in here, getting up there. There is my enemy target, and I'm pressing the toilet paper because I want to use it. Well, sometimes you have to use toilet paper. Then you can see the virus attack is getting emitted and called, and that's not what we want. We don't want to have any attack triggered when we are selecting something in the yeah. inventory. So that's what I'm going to take care of next. And I did some research this morning, and I want to show you this real quick. Um, there is a function within the Unity Engine event system and it is called is pointer over game object and with that um, you can you can check if the if the mouse pointer is over an UI element here you can see it here is the get the input uh, function and here is uh, the um, event system current is pointer over game object and I want to try out this maybe this is the solution for my issue I have there hmm. I'm just going to copy this whoa weird things happening here alright let's go into the script where the attacks are getting um, fired and that's in the let me just collapse this this here real quick let's say this is update close damage and dead there we go all right um it is within the player attack script and we have within the void update we have the input handling and here we got the the mouse buttons get key down key code mouse one so what I want to do is right in here I want to add a function well um, this is for the right mouse button I see. I want to add this pile of code and you can give the the um, ID of the pointer and according to the um, remark here if you use is pointer over game object without a parameter it points to the left mouse button pointer rd equals minus one therefore when you use is point uh, over game object for touch you should consider passing the pointer id um yeah so this is um So this is mouse one, which is the right mouse button. So I think I have to pass in a one here. And then I go down here, clicked on your eye with right mou mouse <laughs> mouse button. And here with left mouse button. Okay, so I'm getting an error because the event system is not in here. So I think I have to use using. I think it is inside the Unity Engine dot event system. There we are. So the error should be removed. There we go. Looks good. All right, let's test this. Let's 
There we go. I'm gonna click. Clicked on the UI with the left mouse button. And with the right mouse button there's nothing happening. Yeah, so... Good news and bad news. The left mouse button is working. But for the right mouse button I think my ID is wrong. So let me just use zero. Let's see if this works. I have to try an error because I don't know the exact um, pointer ID for the right mouse button. No, not working. So it's probably not zero. It might be, oh, what can it be? Did I already try one? Did I? Yes, I already tried one. Minus one. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting a message on my phone. I have to go away for a second. I'm back in one minute. Please hang on. All right, guys, I'm back. Five more minutes to go, and then I have to end today's episode, unfortunately. But um, let's see if we can uh, finish this in the last minute or within the last minutes. So let's test with minus one. But I guess... Oh, yes, there we are. It is minus one. Wow, look at that. And right, left mouse button, right mouse button. That is exactly what I wanted to have. So we can use that. And um, now I can say, if event system, so this is, is this returning a Boolean? I think it is a Boolean. Yes, it is a, bo uh, a boolean. So I can get in here and I can say if it is not true, then I want to fire the puke attack in this case. Puke attack and get the virus attack. 
put it in there. Let's get rid of this extra line. Okay, let's see if this works. Head back into Unity, hit the play mode. So there we go. We uh, got puke, puke, puke. So you can see I'm I'm uh, selecting with the right mouse button. Nothing happens if I select beside the inventory. Then it is happening, but when I'm within, nothing is happening. Same thing with the left mouse button, and this is awesome. This is exactly what I want to have. Now we can select and do stuff with, with this um, like we want to here. That's awesome. And even on this side, when I click the other UI elements over there, um, nothing happens. Same thing up here with these UI elements. That's uh, pretty awesome. That's exactly what I want to have. All right, guys. So with this success on this day, I'm gonna go into my Trello and we're going to check off these um, two points. We got this one and you can see finished the ad pills. Go into the inventory system and there we have this make sure attacks are not fired while clicking mouse on inventory menu. Checked and you can see this task is done as well. So for the version 0 0.015, there are a few things left. Um, I want to change the enemy tracking system because you see he's tracking you even if there is a wall between you and he um, is not able to see you, he's tracking you. And uh, I want to change that, implement some kind of uh, site um, line of sight he has and he only can track you if you are within this line of sight and um, there are two bugs in here I want to fix before I push out this um, version so we are making progress here and I'm pretty happy of that and uh, with that said I uh, want to thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting hit the like and the subscribe button. And you know, sharing is caring. At least share this episode with one friend or one family member, and this will be highly appreciated. And um, guys, I wish you stay healthy, stay happy, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.